We started this program in 2015, the two-year human services technology, and then in 2016, we added the two-year substance abuse treatment program. I love it. Um, very passionate about my students. Um, the support here is amazing. Dr. Shackelford has a human services heart. He gets mental health struggles. He gets substance abuse or substance use struggles very well. And knowing that I have that support is, is wonderful. Oh, it's absolutely fantastic. Absolutely amazing. Um, fantastic program. Getting access to the professor since that Scott's program, the door's always open. I can get questions answered that I had. If I was having trouble with an assignment or this and that, I could always get to where I needed to get to. The doors were always open. I think the ultimate goal is to make sure these students have jobs. The need is great right now. Um, one of the things I'm trying to encourage my students to do, we offer a peer support class where they can get their certification in that through continuing education. Um, a lot of folks are hiring for those folks with that certificate. The, the, job, the job market is unlimited in this area. It's unlimited. There's, there's jobs out there. You can get right to work right away. It's a, it's a wide variety, um, can go anything from child, DSS, that type of thing right there, into um, helping people find housing, how to get your power bill paid if you don't have it, things like that right there. Some places that my, my students, my graduates will get jobs would include Daymark, Department of Social Services, um, Neat thing yesterday, just had a wonderful opportunity to be a reference for a graduate um, that would be working with um, an exceptional children's class at the local high school. Um, feel confident she's going to get that job. Um, and, and they can work with young people with mental health disorders. They can work with the elderly folks that are struggling with Alzheimer's and dementia. I mean, it runs the gamut in terms of age, working in, you know, areas of domestic violence, uh, domestic violence shelters, uh, things such as that. Um, to work in this field, I really think that you almost need to feel sort of called into this work um, because it is very, very challenging. You'll see folks that you work with succeed. You'll see some fail. Sadly, you're not going to get rich financially, but I do think you'll get rich here in knowing that you're making a difference, that you're giving folks a hand up and having a chance, giving them a chance to turn their lives around. You know, that, that's what we do. And self-care is critical. You know, you have to live, live a balanced life in this field especially or else you won't be in this field for long.